Welcome to Essential Style. So a little while ago, I did a video on this Thursday wax cotton field jacket in the color black. It looks like you guys really enjoyed that video. But while I do really enjoy this jacket, it's not perfect, and I alluded to that in the video. Number one, these buttons are actually a bit stiff at first to button up. The length is a bit short, especially with this over here. It just looks like the jacket is a bit short on me. The pockets, while they are in the right place, there's no snap closure right here. So if you were to jam a pair of gloves or a hat in there, you'd really have to be careful and keep track because they could fall out very easily and you can lose them. Speaking of pockets, there's no pockets over on this side. You just get one pocket over here. You do get one breast pocket up here, but it's not the easiest pocket to get into with that button style closure. So I remember being in a Banana Republic a few months ago, and I remember seeing this particular jacket, their Loma quilted jacket, and I tried it on, I actually thought it was pretty decent, but I didn't have the budget for it back then. However, as you can see, I bit the bullet, they recently had a sale. So I wanna see how this one compares to the Thursday wax cotton field jacket. All right, let's see. All right, definitely easier to throw on. Got some nice snap pockets. We have four pockets on the outside. That's pretty decent. It does feel like it has a bit of a stretch to it. Length is pretty good, a little bit longer. I definitely like the longer jackets. I feel like you can do more with a longer jacket. You can just dress it up a lot more. Now, right off the bat, I'm not a big fan of how this collar looks when you wear it flipped down. On the Thursday field jacket, you actually can put the collar down and it still look decent. This one, it just looks kind of weird with those proportions, like it's too flat. So I would always just pop that collar. Pretty simple, but that's actually one negative for this jacket. Now this jacket is also, it feels like it's made out of like that ski pant material. You can probably see it makes a whole bunch of noise. However, let's go ahead and see. All oh, these buttons are much easier to, much easier to open and close. Let's check the pockets. One, two, three, four. We've also got these side pockets right here. So these are double pockets. That is awesome. How many pockets on the inside? None over here. We do have one pocket right here, and look at that, it has a snap closure, so you can put some extra things in there if you need to. So while this jacket actually has four pockets that you can see in one hidden pocket, this is a five pocket jacket. Whereas with a Thursday jacket, you only get three jackets, jackets, three pockets. You got two here, two hand warmer, if you would, pockets, one third breast pocket up here, and then you just get a little slide pocket right here. Remember the Banana Republic jacket actually has a double pocket right here, and the one on top, or the one in front, has a snap closure, so you can put gloves in there. You don't have to worry about them falling out if you're in a busy environment. Now the Thursday jacket is gonna be more of an athletic fit, but that actually means for me that I can't wear the medium. The medium was too tight on my shoulders. As soon as I put my arm like that, it just was very tight. It would feel like my arms almost like cutting off circulation if I was trying to drive with the size medium. So I'd have to go with the size large. However, that means the jacket isn't going to be as slim. I have a little bit more room in the waist than I'd like with the Thursday jackets. That's not really the greatest. It's not really the big deal as to why I would take one over the other. However, it still looks pretty decent, but just the way that this thing pops out, it makes the jacket look a little bit too short on me, the Thursday that is. Whereas the Banana Republic jacket, a lot more streamlined of a fit. And I go ahead and I button it up. Super easy to button with those snap closures. Just a bit more slim down here, slimmer, longer. This one probably fits me a little bit better. It is a size medium, but I have plenty of room in the shoulders and the arms are still exactly the same. Now I will say with this jacket, while it is a black jacket and I'm really into black jackets lately, I do feel really cool wearing this jacket. You know what I don't get with this jacket? I don't get that same feeling that I was talking about in the initial video that I did on this jacket. I don't get that same cool feeling that I used to get when wearing my old leather jackets. This jacket feels a lot more appropriate if I wanted something that had that same feeling as like I'm feeling like I'm wearing a leather jacket, but I don't have to pay a lot more money to have something that's not warm or waterproof or lightweight and easy to carry around. The wax jacket is just gonna be a lot easier to live with. However, it still feels good. It feels like I'm wearing a leather jacket with this one. Whereas with the banana jacket, I don't really get that feeling. It just feels like I'm wearing a lighter weight winter jacket. Not a big deal, but it definitely is something that 
I felt. And even looking at it on camera, you can probably see that the wax jacket has a nice sheen to it that just gives it more of a badass look. This one, not so much. This Again, this is a quilted jacket overall. Quilted jackets are typically a little bit more mature, a little bit more of an older crowd that they attract, a little bit easier to dress up, but the wax jacket definitely feels like a much more badass jacket. Now, all that being said, fit is key, fit is king. I am leaning more towards the Banana Republic jacket just because it fits a little bit better and a big reason why I wanted one of these jackets in the first place was utility. I can take a pair of gloves, stuff them in this pocket right here and they're safe with the snap closure right here. I could take a hat, put it over here, snap it closed. And while this kills the lines of the jacket, if I actually was going inside and I wanted to take my hat and gloves off or if I wanted to take the jacket off and put it over a chair, this actually is a lot better of a situation to be in versus having a hat and gloves that's just gonna fall out of the side pockets like I showed you before. But the real test of the utility of a jacket for me is, can I fit my mobile vlogging kit in the jacket and not have to rely on a backpack or a shoulder bag? Let's give it a shot. So we got my anchor battery. We're gonna put it in this inside pocket. Let's go ahead and already running out of things. We'll put this, we'll put the cable, the charging cable with the battery on the inside pocket. Snap it closed. There we go. All right, I got my phone tripod. I don't know where I could put this. I guess we can break it down. Kind of works. And then this is my microphone. If I'm filming with my phone, I always like to have a microphone with me. Throw that in the breast pocket up there. And then as a bonus, a little tiny umbrella right here. Throw it in with the gloves. Now this is kind of crazy, honestly. I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't load this jacket up with this much stuff. However, it's nice to know that you actually can do this. And I think if you're looking for a jacket, whether it's a field jacket, utility jacket, or anything, you want to make sure that if you have to do something like this and put a hat, gloves, umbrella, charging cable, charging bank, tripod, all this extra stuff, that you can actually do it. Now it does kill the lines of the jacket. I can feel the jacket kind of pulling down here, but this is a big win for the Banner Republic Loma jacket over the Thursday wax cotton jacket. So I gotta say, I do think the Banner Republic field jacket is gonna be a better option for me. The negatives are going to be that it doesn't give me that cool vibe that I get from the wax jacket. And also if I wear the collar down, I don't like that at all. I'd rather always wear the collar open. However, one thing I realized when you actually put the jacket on, the collar pretty much just pops up on its own. So that might not be an issue. It's not as cool looking, but it just feels better. It fits better. Water resistance, they're, they're both pretty much the same. Very, very close. While I do enjoy the Thursday field jacket, I enjoy Thursday boots, and I like Thursday better as a company, I'm probably gonna go with this one just because it's a better option for me. More pockets, better fit, just easier to wear. Overall fits my lifestyle a bit better. Now, I'm not 100% sure on this yet. I gotta wear them around the house a bit, see which one I like, see which one really pulls ahead for me, but I am leaning more towards this one anyway. A quick video today, just wanted to take the time to actually talk about this jacket and update you on which jackets I'm actually looking at and how I choose jackets. As always, thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you found this video helpful and you found it useful. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.